everyone and welcome to my studio. I hope you're having a great day. We're heading into springtime and these bright colors that I'm working with are really making me happy. So let's go down to the canvas and see what we're going to work on today. Okay, we are working on a 7x14 stretched canvas. It's like a level one type canvas. I like these. They're fun to play with. Um, I'm going to go through the colors really quickly. Okay, we're playing with some eye candy pigments again, of course, same ones I've been using. So we've got the Penny Copper. The I mean, I may kill these names, people. The Sabafu Green. The 14K Nugget Gold. Oh, this is my favorite. Look at the sparkles. Look. Love that. That and the Penny Copper. Super sparkle. Alright, this is Kakiro Orange. Uh, oh boy. Kamen Badoku. Kamen Badokai, I think. I don't know. Something like that. This is, it looks purpley, but it's blue with red highlights. Or red background or something like that. Okay, this color is Eohi Blue or something like that. It's a gorgeous, rich, dark blue. Then in my tube paints, I've got Artist Loft Vermilion and Amsterdam Naple Yellows Deep. My cell activators are going to be Amsterdam Titanium White and Arteza Mars Black. And then I've also got a little bit of Arteza Aztec Gold here, which I'm going to use to sort of lay part of our, our background. And then my pillow paint is Amsterdam Titanium White with Mixed Pour. So, um, all of my pigments and two paints are mixed with the Bare Deep Base 8300 and with the Joe Sonia varnish, gloss varnish. And all my cell activators are mixed with the paint and Aussie Floetrol. Okay, let's get started. I think I'm going to do a bloom swipe this time right down the center. Maybe some uh, scoop and drag. So I don't want this to be too thin initially because I want to be able to... You can't scoop and drag if your paint's too thin. some of these bubbles. Alright, that's looking good. Alright, so we're going to start get my large palette knife here. And I'm just going to put some of this gold paint and put this gold paint on the palette knife. And I just want to run it down the sides just to sort of put a bit of a gold tint.
All right. Now we're going to put our colors down. Okay. I'm going to start with the blue. knife. I'm going to start with the black cell activator on the palette knife first. So we're going to do that. Coat the palette knife with the black cell activator. And then we're going to put the white cell activator on over top of that. loaded up palette knife here and then we're just gonna give it a swipe see how well my swiping's doing today Some serious sparkling going on here. Loving the sparkles. Not so happy with this end down here. But oh, this center is so gorgeous. So I'm gonna play a little. Oh, oh, such gorgeous sparkle here.
All right. Let's give that a first spin. Oh, whoa. Ha, oh. Goodness gracious. That started shooting like crazy. Move things back, people. It was coming off there a lot faster than I thought it was going to, and I didn't even spin it that hard. Oh my goodness. Ooh, we made a mess today. Yes, we did. We're gonna scoot it that way just a little more. Pull you a little that way. Hold on. Okay. Only because it's shooting on the floor over here. I don't mind if it shoots that way. It can shoot all at once that way. But don't shoot into my pigments. Or my paints. <laughs> Move things back! Okay. I tilt that direction just a wee bit. Alright, let's try that again. Sparkle is amazing. Really amazing. dry so nothing's coming off it's sort of stopping at this dry spot right here and not spinning off like it is on the other side so we're gonna wet that down a little Everything wet so things don't, you know, hit that dry spot and stop. Because we want to spin it till it's not really moving. Because if it's moving a lot, which this is, then we need to spin it more. Yeah, that's still moving a lot in the middle. So we're gonna have to give that some more spins. Ooh. Making a mess today. Oh, but that is looking so fabulous. Other than it's making a mess of me. Check how much paint's still on here, how much it's moving. 
You sort of want to keep going until it's not really moving anymore. This is still moving a little, but it's much slower now. All right, one more spin. Definitely don't want to leave too much on because then you're going to crack and your whole thing will be ruined. seeing up here especially. It's like dragon scales. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That's good. Alright. I'm going to take this off the spinner and clean up a little bit and I'll bring it down for a close up. Okay. We have wet results. The shimmer is outstanding here. Look at Oh. You can see that. Look at that. Oh, yeah, you see that shimmer. Look at that shimmer. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. Let's hope it dries well. Hang in there for dry results. Okay, everyone, we have the mainly dry results. I'd say this is, it's more than 50% dry, but it's still damp down that center where the pretty paint is. It is super, super sparkly, and I'll bring it in the bright light for you to see. I think it looks very much like a dragon tail with all the scales. And I may embellish it some more in the future. Let me bring it into the bright light for you. You can see the the center section, which is still wet, is where all the sparkle is. You can really, really see the sparkle there. Turn the, it's just all shine and glittery sparkles. Oh, it's so beautiful. But very, very pleased with this. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Subscribing costs you nothing and it really helps my channel out. This is part of our local Monday train, so please check the description box for what artists are in the train tonight and where their links are. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful holiday week as we lead up to Easter.